Hello! In this brief tutorial, we will look at using Maya particle instances to create dendritic spines. So, what are dendritic spines? This photomicrograph illustrates dendritic spines, which are basically protuberances off of the membrane of dendrites, and they represent the site where signals are relayed from other cells to the dendrites. This file shows what we are going to do. We're going to create these, dendri uh, these uh, dendritic spines on this uh, neuronal model, and what we'll end up with is basically shown here. So you can see about 2,500 of these spines are located on the, on the dendrites of this model. Okay, the first thing is we need to create the particles. So we select the dendrites, go over to um, end particles, and down here at the bottom we're going to use classic particles, and we want to emit from object. With the particles selected, we, we go to the emitter tab, and we need to change a few parameters here. We need to change the uh, change to a surface emitter, and we'll change the uh, rate of particle release to about 3,000 per second. We need to check here where it says need parent UVs because we'll be using goals later. And then scroll down a bit further, and we need to set particle speed to zero. Then go over to the particle shape tab, and uh, we'll change the maximum part particles to 2,500. So if we hit play and uh, go into the wireframe mode, you can see the particles. Uh, on the dendrite. Okay, the next step is to create the instant objects. So to do that we select the spine and we can take a look at that um, at the spine here. It's very small located at the world zero. So we select the spine and then select the particles and go to in particles instancer so if we now hit play you can see we have a lot of instance objects but they're not oriented the way that uh, we want them to be oriented that is uh, projecting out from the surface normals so in order to correct this we have to do the following Okay, the next series of steps involves setting up the goal. And uh, to do that, we need to select the particle, then select the dendrites, and go up to end particles, goal. Go to the particle shape node, scroll down to the goal weights and objects, make sure that the goal strength is set to 1 and then click on the Create Gold World Normal 0PP. Next, scroll down to the Per Particle Attributes. So click on the General. And go in and select Go U, and Go V, and Parent U and Parent V, and add those in. And next we need to write a little expression, so parent B, create, creation expression, we need to type in go B equals parent B, and then go U equals parent U. Of course the particle shape node will be added since this is an expression. And then click create. 
Okay, next we need to uh, scroll up to the Instancer section and make sure that uh, allow all uh, uh, data is checked. Scroll down to the uh, rotation options and click on aim direction and uh, scroll down and select go this uh, go weight normal and then let's rewind and play and you can see now the uh, particle instances are lined up or oriented fairly well pretty much the way we want them to be and they're all protruding out from the uh, from the dendrites next let's uh, create a, a uh, random scale for the instance objects so with the particles selected scroll down to add dynamic attributes click on general click on new type in the uh, attribute name which we'll call at scale pp this will be a vector per particle and click OK. So here is our uh, scale variable and we want to make a creation expression and we'll set up a variable and set that variable equal to a random number say 0.7 to 1.3 and then we'll set the uh, scale attribute scale pp equal to and we'll repeat that variable three times and hit edit and that worked so now we need to scroll back up to the instancer section here we are and go to the general options and under general options for scale click on none and select the um, if I can find it here select scale PP okay now we should have some variation in the scale of these and uh, let's see if we can see that I think you can see that there's there is variation you can see uh, rather clearly that there is now variation in the scale of these instance objects. Okay, the final step uh, will be uh, putting a different shader on these uh, models. And so I've created sort of a uh, x-ray shader uh, using from a, a sample info node, a ramp node and a surface shader node so the facing ratio of the sample info goes to the uh, V chord of the ramp and the out color of the ramp goes to the color of the surface shader and so you can see that produces a rather interesting effect up here in this slot so what we can do then is uh, select the uh, different uh, objects and simply assign that uh, that uh, surface uh, uh, shader and you can see it produces a rather <coughs> interesting effect it sort of mimics um, some of the preparations that they do in medicine uh, to put stains on nerve cells some of the dyes that they actually use so that uh, completes uh, 
uh, this discussion. And this is the model then that we created of, of uh, these spines, which are instances of myoporticles, and they're placed over the dendritic uh, surface uh, of this neuronal model. I hope this will have helped to some of you, and thank you for watching.